Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and great news. My Nokia 8 now has Android Pie. Bad news, can't use my Fitbit now. Keep watching to find out how I fixed it. Okay, so it's been a, uh, a great time personally because the Nokia 8 has now had the long-awaited Android Pie operating system update, which is fantastic. But unfortunately, it means that now my Fitbit tracker will not synchronize. It cannot be found, cannot set it up, dead. So this is a very common problem, it would seem, with a lot of people. And I've noticed it before in the comments section, people have had issues. But I've never actually had a device with Pi on, so I've never experienced it, so I couldn't comment. Now I've got Android Pi, so now I can definitely comment. So this is the steps I took to resolve the problem. A lot of these problems come down to the way that Bluetooth works with the operating system. When an operating system is updated, generally the Bluetooth stack or the technology within the Bluetooth stack gets modified or slightly changed. Now, Bluetooth works in a way where it encrypts data between two devices. So if that technology is changed, quite often the encryption method is also. So if you have a device which is paired already or has been previously paired, it's very possible that the pairing is now obsolete and needs to be reset. So the easiest way I find for doing this, now you may find different ways of doing this, but this is my method, which I'm recommending. It works for me, it may well work for you. This isn't a fix all by any means, but it's certainly a way that I got my device up and running. So the first thing I did was I went to fitbit.com, logged into my account. Now this needs to be on a web browser. I've tried doing it from my mobile phone and it doesn't work in the same way at all. So ideally get yourself in front of a computer, your own or friends, whatever, go to the library. doesn't matter. Just get online, log into your Fitbit account and then go into your devices. Once you go into your device, then scroll to the bottom and choose remove this device from the account. Once you've done this, you can then go back to your mobile device be it mobile phone, tablet, whatever it may be. And then if you open up the Fitbit application, it should try and sync automatically, but if not, just scroll the app down to try and make it sync. Once you've done that for the first time, you should find in the top right-hand corner that your device that was being synced is no longer available. That is great. If for any reason it still remains, click on it and then choose remove this device. But if the process has worked properly, it should already be gone. So now we can minimize the Fitbit application. And now we want to go into settings. So in settings, go to connected devices. And you should see a list of currently connected devices. So I've got Surge on there. So I'm going to forget that device. If for any reason yours isn't shown up there, then you can click on previously connected devices and see if it's listed in there. If it is listed in there, click on the cogwheel, and again, forget the device. So that is pretty much it. At this point, you can restart the phone, you can restart your tracker if you'd like to, not always necessary. So now hopefully, if I go into my Fitbit app, go into the account and set up a device, I can now choose to set up my Fitbit Surge. Agree to the terms and conditions and make sure your surge is on and it should say that it's found it. If you get the number come up on your device, ready to input, that means you're on to a winner. If at this point you don't get the number come up, you may need to modify your timeout settings or your system's battery settings that I listed in a previous video, which you can check out up here. Basically, you have a power management setting, which is actually trying to prevent your Bluetooth staying on for too long and will make this timeout. But again, you shouldn't have to do that. Normally, in most cases, this will work. So there we go, it's going through the rest of the settings and uh, there we go, we're done. Surge is connected and is syncing. And if I go back to my user account on the front, I should now see my heart rate. Well, it says I've got uh, 112 beats per minute, but I'm not wearing it, so that is clearly wrong. <laughs> but hopefully I'm not anyway. So anyway, I'll be Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been how to reconnect your Fitbit device to your Android phone 
after your Android device has done an update. This method will probably work for other issues, such as if you're just having connectivity issues or anything, but this is definitely or very likely to happen to you if you've just gone from either Marshmallow to Nugget, Nugget to Oreo, or from Oreo to Android Pie. So hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments section below. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more video content like this. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.